Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and I've never hidden my disdain of the Kardashians. I don't have a personal vendetta against them. I don't know them. I just don't understand why so many people look up to them. It always just felt like they were rich and famous because they were rich and famous. They somehow just like shot up to the world of fame and then got wealthy and then used their fame to launch a bunch of makeup and things that people only bought because they were famous. And then they created a reality show to sustain their rich and wealthy lifestyle so people could look up to them and go, ooh, I get to know them while they're rich and famous, but they never really have actually done anything. <laughs> and so that's always just been my issue with them. But hey, those of you guys who love the Kardashians, you do you. Me, I'm just not a fan. And today I'm especially not a fan. Now I wanna first, I hope everyone out there is okay. I know a lot of you guys in certain areas of the world are facing excessive heat warnings. And yeah, okay, I may lose some of you here due to politics. However, I do believe that the climate crisis that's happening is due to the pop overpopulation and everything else. I do think there's a correlation there. And uh, it's hard for me to not know amidst all these massive heat warnings and, and areas around the globe where we're facing a lot of weird climate crises. I, I, I do think we need to be better uh, as a society and working together just to be, even if you don't believe, like, why not just be careful? Why not? Why can't we all agree to be a little safer and use a little less and figure out how to actually invest in solar and things? You know who doesn't want to to do that the wealthy people who have invested in all the gas and oh my god i could go off on a million tirades no but the, the the rich and wealthy don't want us to be sustainable they just don't and so we are in this endless cycle and so it just frustrates me when i know so many people are suffering out there right now amidst the heat but kylie jenner is taking her private jet to go 40 minutes down the road i just i can't even i can't even I, like Look, I know people, rich people have private jets. I get it. You got to fly places. It's hard for them to fly commercial. They're famous, although I would never even know who she is. A lot of people would. Uh, but when they just shove it in your face like this. Now, again, I got umbrage with Kylie Jenner and Travis because of the whole Astroworld thing, which I still feel like has never been addressed properly. And here they are. You want to take mine or yours? Oh, honey, I'm going up to, I'm going to go to IHOP in my jet. Where are you going today? I'm just going to go hang out with some friends down the street. Cool. See you later. Now taking off. Two private jets just flying around the world, eating up more than all the, this stuff bothers me, man. You know, look, rich and powerful people don't need to just always take private jets. You know who's actually famous? Harrison damn Ford, who gasses up his own damn car. Now that is a celebrity. This guy would be stopped by everybody, young and old. No one can tell me that Harrison Ford's not more famous than Kylie damn Jenner. And he's out there pumping gas like the rest of us. I love this man. Good for him. And he's even driving in a car that obviously you're going to be like, holy crap, look, there's Harrison Ford in this cool car. He's managing to do it okay. But you're telling me Kylie Jenner can't drive 45 minutes down the, down the road with her, her drivers? What was so pressing? This is this stuff is sick to me. This is so gross. And it's not just the private flying. Let's let's look into this. This is how the Kardashians are destroying the world. Because I do believe they're destroying the world in making their, their false idols in that why are they why do we lift them up? Why do so many people look up to these people because they're on a reality show and sell makeup? Because you guys just think they're famous and they're beautiful, so I want to look like they do. I, 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 anyway, beyond even just that issue, now they use the fame to like literally take 17-minute private jet rides. She's facing major backlash from social media for boasting about her boyfriend, Travis Scott's private jets, using hers uh, to take short flights. Celeb Jets posted a plane rate. I have it right here. Uh, Kylie Jenner's jet took off from Camel Camarillo, California, going to Van Nuys, California, arriving in three minutes. Now, people are like, huh? Now, I've lived actually in this area. I used to live there. I used to live here in Encino, about here. I've been to the Van Nuys Airport. I've driven down all the way down here to uh, Cam the Camarillo Airport around that area uh, where they live down near Calabasas. They live around Calabasas. So rather than, and, and I think it's more in the middle that they live uh, yeah, so they, they probably had to drive up to this and then t 
to get to that airport. They had to have a whole crew. Let's not forget a whole crew gas up the, the airplane, a, a crew that they're paying, etc. So they could then get in the plane. The plane takes 17 minutes and then get off at the airport, collect there. You're telling me maybe she maybe saved 10 minutes in the all, all around travel of things, not to mention the crew and the gas and the jet fumes and everything she's putting into the earth. So she could save maybe 10 minutes. She couldn't take a private car down the road and just factor in that extra 10 minutes to, you know, be in the car. No. Nope, not the Kardashians. Some pressing matter. Got to get there. And it wasn't even like she was going to LAX to, like, travel somewhere. If she was driving to LAX to go to somewhere else, fine. I would be like, all right, she's traveling out, out somewhere long distance, fine. No, she's going to the Van Nuys Airport because she probably had a meeting out in the Valley or in Hollywood, and she didn't want to drive the whole distance. When she could have just literally probably driven the hour to get to her meeting, she decided to take a flight. <laughs> and then drive and then f drive back and then fly back this is insane this is guys these people are too damn wealthy this is disgusting and yeah i do believe this stuff really causes a dent it's it's insane twitter feed normal lists the pounds of jet fuel used the cost of fuel and the tons of co2 emissions it did uh, it did not do so for jenner's john uh, three days after the quick flight the reality star posts a black and white photo of her and scott posting in front yours or mine I mean, these two are disgusting. I'm sorry. They were the, the Astro World stuff is still out there as they're trying to get their get out of it and go perform more festivals to put people in danger. And he's claiming like, "Oh, I didn't do anything wrong. I still think he needs to take accountability. He's never really done it. I don't think it's his fault alone. Don't get me wrong. It's a lot of people's faults, including his, including his. But he doesn't want to take any fault. He wants to blame it on everybody else. Um so anyway, they've slammed her now for being a full-time cr climate criminal. Can't wait to see Kyle Jenner post environmental awareness pics in her stories as if she isn't single-handedly doing more damage to the environment than most of us with her three-minute flights. How many times, I wonder, does she do this? I, I love this tweet, too. I want to make sure I share that. Uh, I did not sacrifice plastic straws for Kylie Jenner to single-handedly cause climate change. Please, for the love of God, can the Kardashians not be so effing irritating for five minutes? Amen. Amen. Oh. This stuff is just sickening to me because why do they need it? Really? They're this famous that they're just going to now take three-minute jet rides? It, it, it bothers me. It, it doesn't even just stop there. It doesn't even just stop there. L.A. area celebrities have been way, using way too much water. Of course, because they're above all of us. Oh, we're rich, famous celebrities. We don't care about your water drought in L.A. I uh, wonder, who's one of the biggest problems here? Who's some... Kourtney Kardashian lives in an $8 million home in Calabasas out there where they're driving their private jets, where they're having no... They have no water, heat strokes, but let's keep pumping it up with CO2 because eh, it's not correlated. Uh, who cares? Uh, if we're wrong and we all die, you can blame the Kardashians and the rest of the wealthy who just continue to tell us all that not to worry about it. Water records obtained by CBS show that the home, which is listed under a trust, used 245% of its allotted water budget in May. Fourth month, it went over budget. The fourth month, it went over budget. And it's not just her. Sylvester Stallone apparently went over. Uh, Howie Mandel... Uh, anyway, as you can tell here, a lot of celebrities are doing it, but I just found it very funny. Leading the chart there, Kourtney Kardashian. So more of these Kardashians out there who are above us, bigger than us, they don't have to follow the rules. They don't have a water budget. Eh, just pay whatever we need. Everyone else is there allocating their water because there's a shortage out in the, in the LA area, which there always is around this time of year because it doesn't rain. And uh, uh, let me just go, sorry, we're going to go fly our private jets. Uh, just fine us whatever it costs for the extra water uh, so we can just be flying around while our help is watering our lawns is probably what really is happening here. Oh, my God, it just... I, I, <laughs> when are we all as a society going to get up and realize that the wealthy are too damn wealthy? These, what, what? I mean, look, I'm all for somebody earning their wage and earning their livelihood. Everyone deserves that right. But my God, the rich in the world, they control us all. And we just are letting them. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I, I don't know what the solution is. I'm not trying to say we should put a cap on wealth, etc. But I, almost, I do feel like the most wealthy, the ones that are so wealthy that they their their problems in the world are, should we use your private jet or mine? These This level of fame has so much excess. 
shouldn't they do something? I mean, it's just, and then, okay, you don't agree with me politically, whatever. This is going to be our downfall. This is why Elon Musk saying we're all under, oh, we're not, the population's underpopulation. We're all going to die. I need to have more kids. Otherwise, we're all, dude, the world is going to hell. And I'm just so sick of not only just two, two, my two main beefs in the world, the mainstream media and the super wealthy who claim to be, you know, helping us all. And they're not doing shit. I'm over it. It's all, I'm done with it. Am I am I crazy here? I want to see what you guys think. Can enough of us stop watching this damn show so they can start like actually, uh, you know, or if they're if we are watching their show, demand them to like do more with it to help. They're at such a level that I don't know. I feel like anybody who's in a family that has two private jets. I don't, there should be like another tax on them or something just to help others. It's wild, man. It's wild. It's like the whole Elon Musk. I must populate the world for Mars, so I must give more people kids. How about you help the damn kids that are already here with all the damn money that you have? He's literally like, I have too much money, so I might as well spread it out amongst uh, my my kin. Dude, go help, uh, like, uh, help others. Go help some single moms who can't even afford to get daycare. And then they can't even get a job and they're living, barely getting food in their kid's mouth while they're trying their damnedest while all these people are flying jets. Man, I'm getting, oh, I'm over it. I'm over it. Uh, pop culture justice. Uh, what do you guys think? Tell me down below if you like these sort of rants. Hit me up. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell for alerts. Smash that like button and leave a comment down below. What are your thoughts? Am I crazy? Uh, do you think I'm going nuts for no reason? Or do you share my frustration? We'll also be live today. It's Feel Good Florida Man Fridays. Uh, we'll be talk sharing some positive stories and some crazy stories. So make sure you join us live today, later this afternoon. And thank you guys, as always, for watching Popcorn Planet.